All right, good morning, friends. Today we are going to take a look at Screencast-O-Matic. Screencast-O-Matic is my favorite tool. One of my favorite tools. I use it all the darn time. Pretty much every video I make for you, I use with make with Screencast-O-Matic. So let's talk about what it is. What Screencast-O-Matic does first is it's going to record everything that's going on on your screen. Uh, for me, it's better than Screencastify because it has more options. And it will act also capture everything that's going on on your desktop screen. Or Screencastify will only capture, you know, your Google Chrome browser because it's a Google Chrome extension. This is a software that installs a little bit on your uh, computer and it will capture the entire screen of your computer. You can see right now, you know, it's got my Windows toolbar and the date and time and everything down there in the corner. Uh, it's going to capture everything that's on, going on on your screen and it's going to open up the possibilities for you there and things that you can you can present to your students. I have a paid account for this. If we go to the pricing tab here, I have the deluxe plan. It's $18 a year worth every penny um, because not only am I being able to record my entire screen, but it also includes the video editor software, which is fantastic. Sometimes I use the video editor software to fix a video uh, for other people or to just edit videos that I've already have that I've already created. This video editing software is really easy. I've used it for green screen. Um, you can draw when you're in a presentation and it has tools and everything for you to draw on the screen. Uh, 18 bucks a year. I mean, you can't beat that. What's that? A little over a dollar a month. So if it's something you're interested in, uh, it's totally worth it in my opinion. So let's take a look at a little bit of what you're going to get here with Screencast-O-Matic. So from the main screen here, when you first log in, you log in with your Google. Uh, you hit the Start Recorder button. And when you hit the Start Recorder button, it is going to pop up a little thing at the top of the screen uh, that's going to ask you if you want to launch the screen recorder. It's going to quickly download the little extension sort of thing for that. But again, it's not a Google, Google Chrome extension. It's a Windows extension. So it is going to pop that up, and then down on the bottom of the screen, you're going to have a little thing that pops up. You know, it says, uh, once it finishes downloading, it's going to ask you to click that to launch it. Once it launches it, you're going to get a screen that looks like this. So you'll have this little tool down here. You have a box that you can stretch and uh, readjust it to the size of your screen that you want to capture. If you just want to capture, you know, the window and you want to cut off, the tops and the bottoms of your, all your tabs and everything. You can just capture the middle of your screen so you can adjust that size. Um, you can capture the computer's audio as well as the narration of you talking. You can set it to record only your screen. You can set it to record only your webcam or you can set it to record both. And when you're setting it to record both, you get options down here in the corner uh, for adjusting and moving that. You can also click and drag the little uh, web camera thing around too. Anytime that you are uh, recording a video, you hit the little uh, record button down there in the bottom left, start recording. When you're recording a video, all you have to do is hit Alt-P to pause the video. So anytime you want to pause the video, you hit Alt-P to pause it. Uh, maybe you want to change windows or something like that, and you just don't want a bunch of dead air and time while you're waiting for something to load. So you can hit Alt-P to pause your video and get it back to uh, where you were at. All right, so let's take a look at the video editing tool. So here are videos that I have recorded inside my Screencast-O-Matic program. So let's click on this Wii Video one. And I would go to Edit. And now that I'm inside the Edit portion of this, I can insert, like, like you know how I have a little uh, introduction at the beginning of my videos? Well, what I do is when I finish recording my video with Screencast-O-Matic, I put the little bar right at the beginning there and I hit insert video and then I can select a video that I already have saved on my computer and it's going to insert that little introduction clip on the beginning of my videos. You can also insert a video by recording a new one to put on the beginning or in the end or anywhere in the middle. You can drag this little tool thing all along here and through the tools you can put an overlay if I wanted to have an image show up over the top of whatever I'm presenting. You know, there's lots of things that you can do to insert images. You can do this with green screen and everything. It has the options for green screen in here to remove the background. 
There are lots of editing tools here. You can cut, like if I want to remove a portion of this, I can select the cut tool and then drag it down to where I want to cut. And I can pull a portion of the video out. Um, it's really simple, really easy to use. Recording options here, editing options as well. Some things to keep in mind, the cursor. You can turn the cursor off and on if you don't want the cursor to show up with the little yellow circle around it showing where you're at. You can switch that off and on. You can turn the webcam off and on. Even though you recorded your video with the webcam going, if you decide you don't want the webcam, you can click that to turn it off. You can turn on captions. Um, you can add music to your video. You can, with this button right here, add music. You can add a... Uh, musical soundtrack over your video. So for instance, if you're putting together a slideshow and you want some sound over it, that's a great option for that. There's also a volume control over here for the narration. Sometimes I have made videos and maybe you've noticed you weren't able to hear me real well. Well, I have discovered that there is this audio adjustment here. So I can click that and I can turn up the volume for my narration. I can also turn down so there was that Alt-P in, in action there. I had to pause that because I accidentally minimized my window and couldn't get it back real quick. So I hit Alt-P to pause it, and then Alt-P again to resume my recording. So here I am in my recording. I can turn just the sound of the volume of the uh, computer sounds as well. So if I have a video playing that I'm recording with my screen capture, I can do that. Um, and as well, if you add music, you can adjust the volume of the music. You can also set it to fade in and fade out uh, at the beginning and end of the video as well. So when I'm done making all the changes to my video, all the edits that I want to do, I can hit done. And it's going to pop me out here where I can then, you know, preview it all. Once again, I can save it as a video file to my computer. Or if you have it set up and linked to your YouTube, I can hit that upload to YouTube. And it's going to pop me up a little screen to give me the options of the uh, resolution and everything that I want it to be. I can change the name of it and it's going to uh, upload it directly to my YouTube account. I don't have to go to YouTube and upload it from there. It automatically pops it right up there for me. So that is a real quick introduction to Screencast-O-Matic. Again, one of my favorite tools. I use it all the time. Uh, please check it out. I know it will help you to accomplish a lot of things. Uh, what are some ways that you can see using Screencast-O-Matic? If you, you wouldn't mind share with us, uh, that'd be awesome. Oh, hey, before you go, pause here so you can go look these things up and like and subscribe them. EdTech Mr. Brown, Twitter's EdTech Mr. Brown, YouTube EdTech Mr. Brown, Facebook. Thank you.